In this video, we're going to explore the tools one should use to make tables. We'll look at the small icon on the toolbar here on the right hand side of the screen at the top. And um, once you've got all of your filters in place for the data that you're working on, um, click on that table icon and this will open a crash details dialog box um, which lists all of the crashes that you have um, in your search. So whatever filters that you have applied, um, the crashes that you have selected um, will open here um, in this dialog box. Use this scroll bar on the right hand side and you can see you can scroll down through um, all of those crashes to view the details. As I do so, you can see if you hover over the summary boxes of each of those crashes, the map point for that specific crash is highlighted over here on my map window. If you click on this magnifying glass in that box, you can zoom into that selected crash. To get back to the previous zoom level, I simply hit the back arrow. There's several ways that you can do it, but um, just hit that back arrow on the navigation toolbar um, and you'll get right back to where you was a second ago. So the number of crashes that meet your criteria is also listed at the bottom of that control panel. There are a few ways that you can access the crash data in tabular form. If you click the icon that looks like two pages overlapping each other, this will give you a pop-out. Now the pop-out allows you to open the table in another window, so go ahead and move this table um, to the side. If you go to the bottom of the map window, um, edit one of the filters to change your crash data that you've selected and you can see this automatically populates um, and updates your data in the table also. You can also click the arrow that is pointing there to the left hand side and this opens a table within the iCat display window um, and a pop out option is also available there too. Another option you can use while you have this window open is export. This is located at the bottom right hand side of both windows. Once you've selected export data, this dialog box will open um, and that will allow you to choose a name for your file. Um, then this allows you to choose the format that your table is exported into. The extensions for your file include um, Excel, tab delimited, um, shapefile, KML or KMZ. There is also an option to select what fields that you want included, um, but to use this select table columns function, you'll need to be on the advanced side of the iCAT tool. Once you select the select columns option, iCAT has a, a predefined number of columns as its default, as you can see. Um, the options are grouped, so you can um, toggle these on and off. Um, so let's go ahead and turn off a couple of those um, and then you press OK and you can see this includes only the columns that you have selected um, to display in your table. So this gives you a quick look at some of the tables that you can generate using iCAT. Be on the lookout for additional tutorials covering some of the other tools available in iCAT.